Hey everyone, uh, my name is Calvin and welcome to my video tutorial for Star Map Poster Creator. This is an add-on for Photoshop that will let you create a custom poster of the night sky on any given date and location. And uh, it's really easy to use and the first thing you want to do to get started is just download that zip file, unzip it, and uh, inside you'll find a few different files. The first file here is actually a folder and this will contain extras and updates in the future but uh, right now there's nothing in there. Uh, this next file here, this is the readme and uh, this will have links to this tutorial video, my email address, as well as the link to the star map data. And uh, this last file here, this is the actual poster creator itself. And uh, to open that up, just drag it into Photoshop. It looks just like this. Um, it has this built-in mock-up, but to customize the poster yourself, uh, just go here into this smart object. And smart objects work by, basically, you open them and they create another tab up here. So to open this smart object, just double click this little page icon here and uh, it's open a new tab so here's the original and here's what's inside that smart object and uh, this is the poster creator itself here um, these are all the options and uh, I'll go into those later but the first thing we'll do is drop in your own custom star map and uh, to find that that's also in more smart objects so to place your star map uh, just go up here to this top layer double click that little page icon this will open another smart object, another tab, uh, and then inside that one there's actually another smart object. So this is like a double layer smart object. Uh, and then uh, double click that page icon to go to the final smart object. And uh, this is where we'll place our star map. And uh, we can get our star map from that free online source I mentioned earlier. And uh, the link's in the readme. So I'll go back to my uh, folder here. And here's the readme. I'll open that up. Here's the uh, link to the uh, star map data. I'll copy that and then open it up in my browser. So here's what the uh, custom star map data looks like. Um, before you enter your date and time, uh, make sure the location is correct. So to specify a certain location, uh, just go over here where it says location. Click that link uh, and it'll take you to a little Google map. And uh, it looks just like this. Just move around and uh, move this location pin to wherever you want the uh, location for the night sky to be. So I'll set it over here and scroll down and press update and uh, it'll take you to the front page of the website just uh, scroll down it'll remember the location just scroll down and click this interactive sky chart not the old one uh, but this top link here and uh, it'll take you right back to that uh, sky chart we saw before now you can do your custom date for example enter 2014 uh, choose a month choose a day and uh, set a time and then make sure you click update uh, the last thing you want to do before we copy this is you want to make sure all of these are turned off. If it's your first time going to this website, it'll probably have everything turned on. And uh, it makes for a pretty cluttered map. I recommend you turn everything off except the uh, constellation lines. So to uncheck them all and uh, make sure this constellation lines is the only one that's checked. And uh, once that's all set, you can just right click and then uh, copy image. And then go back to Photoshop here and then I'll just do paste. And uh, it'll paste your image right on top. Uh, I recommend that you hide the image behind, or even better, just delete it. Uh, and then you can close and save these double smart objects to apply the effect. So we're in this smart object right now. This is the final one. I'll click this little X here, and when Photoshop asks me if I want to save, I'll click yes. And it'll take me to the next smart object in the line. I don't need to do anything here, so I'll just close and save it. Click yes. And uh, it'll take us back to the original star map creator uh, with our new star map placed inside there. So here's what it looks like when we've got our own custom time, date, and location uh, star map placed here in the poster. Uh, now I'm going to go through each of these options one by one. Uh, most of these are pretty self-explanatory, so you could end the tutorial here and just go on and uh, try it yourself. But if you're curious about what some of these do, I'm just going to go through each one step by step and uh, try to show you what's going on. So this first option here, this is a grain. So if you turn that off, you'll just have clear, solid colors. Uh, but if you want some texture, you can turn that one on. If you want it stronger or lighter, you can control that with the uh, opacity slider here. But I think around 20% is pretty good. This next one here, this is the custom color options. And if you open that up, it'll let you give a kind of a darker shade to the inside of the star map here. Uh, or you can change the color itself. So as long as this is on, you can open up the Color Options folder and then double-click this Adjustment layer and uh, just pick a different color. I think maybe kind of powder blue is kind of nice. And I'll click OK to apply it. 
and I'll close that one. Uh, another option you have here is a gradient. So if you want a gradient, turn off the color options folder and uh, turn on the gradient folder here. And uh, you can open that up and double click this adjustment layer and um, create a custom gradient of your own. But uh, I think for this one, I'll stick with the solid color. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'll close this group. And uh, the next one here is a global color scheme toggle. So if I turn that off, it'll flip everything. Uh, it won't invert the colors, it just inverts the color scheme. Uh, and if I turn it on, it'll flip it back. Some of these options kind of multiply with other options, so you have to play around with it. But I'll show you later on how this works with some of these other toggles and inverters uh, to create custom pattern. So the next one is the border options. So if you open that up, it's an options folder, so if you open it up, it'll give you some choices. And uh, this is uh, all the choices for the star map borders. So I can turn off the default one and choose another one. You'll have to try them out and see which one you like. But I think my favorite one is this one here, this alternating shading border. So once you're happy with that, just close that group. And the next one here is the uh, square mode toggle. If I turn that on, uh, it'll give us a square. And uh, this is how some of these effects kind of interact. So when I enabled square mode, it turned it white. It made that kind of an empty space. If I go back up here to the global color scheme toggle and turn that off, uh, it'll flip everything again uh, and leave us still with a box, but now it's a solid box. So this is how you can start to see how some of these effects sort of multiply, and you'll have to play around with them uh, to get the result that you want. So I think square mode looks pretty good, so I'll leave that one on. The next folder here is the compass marking options. So I'll open that one up, and it'll give us some more options for the uh, compass markings here. So you can turn off the default one and choose one of the other ones. It also comes with some degree marks, uh, these long ones and then short ones. I like the short ones, so I'm happy with this and uh, I'll close this group. Uh, the next group here is the personalized text. You can add more text if you want, uh, but it comes with two lines of text here. And to edit those, just double click the little T. Uh, it'll highlight the text and then you can just type in your own. And uh, this second one here, this is the uh, location and date. Just double click that T. Uh, and you can customize that one. But uh, I'm happy with this. I won't change these, so I'll close this group. This next group here uh, is a toggle for the uh, inner fill of this uh, star map here. So if you turn it on, it'll make it solid. If you turn it off, uh, it'll uh, make it um, empty. Uh, but again, the, all these kind of toggles work together. So if you turn this one on and then the global toggle on, uh, it'll flip both of them uh, to white, and you'll have a kind of a different style here. I think I like the uh, inner inner part there to be solid, so I'll turn that off again. And uh, this next option here, this is the grid option. It has a few choices here, just three. Uh, I like the default one a lot, but if you don't, you can turn it off, or you can choose uh, the concentric grid. Uh, that's a little bit of a finer concentric grid, uh, but I really like this one, this kind of polar grid, so I'll keep that one and close that group. Uh, this last option here, this is the advanced options. Uh, you don't have to change anything in there, but if you're really comfortable with Photoshop, uh, you can mess around with this map and uh, get some different results. It's up to you. It's up to your project. But uh, I'm really happy with this poster right now. I think I just want to change the color to a little bit darker. So I'll go up here to Custom Color Options and open that group. And uh, I'll click the Color Options and open that one. And then double-click this and choose a little bit darker of a shade. Okay, that's pretty good. And I'll do OK. And uh, this is done. So if you want to export this uh, as a file that you'd like to sell or print yourself, you can just save it as a JPEG from within this document. Just go to File, Export, and then Save for Web. I think um, a very high quality is probably fine for most uses. And uh, I'm not going to save this one or print it, but if you are happy with this and you are ready to print it out, you can just save it to your desktop and then print it from there. But uh, I'll cancel this. Now for the last part of the tutorial, I'll show you uh, a little bit more information about the mock-up and how you can use that. So do all your file exporting from inside here, but if you want to see what it looks like uh, before you print it or if you want to create some product images, you can use the mock-up for that. And to apply your custom poster to the mock-up, just close and save the smart object that you're working in, and uh, it'll ask if you want to save. Make sure you click yes, and uh, this will save all your work. And uh, it might come up with a little dialog box here. Just press OK, it's fine. And uh, it'll save everything. Uh, and then place that inside the uh, mock-up here. Now the mock-up itself has a few options. Uh, if you don't like the frame, you can uh, open the mock-up options and turn on solid color mode. And if you want to change the uh, background color, you can open that group 
and uh, change it uh, just like we did in the poster. Just double click that adjustment layer and choose a different color. I'll do OK. And if you don't like that shadow, you can turn that off. And uh, this mock-up is great if you want to create a quick product image uh, for Etsy or maybe you're marketing your posters on Instagram. It's totally up to you. Uh, you can just export your image here just like you normally would using the Save for Web dialog. Uh, it's a little bit big. You might want to save it at like a thousand pixels square. Something like that's probably good for most uses, uh, but it's up to you. So I think that pretty much wraps it up. I hope this is a pretty solid overview of how you can use this uh, poster creator tool to create some unique saleable posters. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to send me an email and I'll get right back to you as soon as possible. But uh, other than that, guys, thanks for your support and thanks for watching.